my DIY day August the 24th and if you're thinking of installing a floodlight either outside or inside as I just did I have some information that may be quite useful and save you a lot of time I bought this unit from Wix seemed too good to be true it's a 10 watt floodlight IP65 rated uh, cast aluminium and it's only eight pounds I bought one, I brought it home, I plugged it in and it worked perfectly. So I bought another five. I installed the first one on the lighting circuit and it tripped the RCCB, the residual current circuit breaker, indicating an earth fault. So I installed a different one and it did exactly the same. But the strange thing is it was tripping this one on my local distribution, but feeding it is another distribution with a similar device but from a different manufacturer. Okay, I decided this was faulty. I had another, I had a replacement here, so I changed it. It also tripped. I found that all of these caused the trip. Now I don't believe that they're all faulty. So I eventually replaced that breaker, this RCCB, with a normal breaker. Knowing that downstream of it I've got another two similar RCCBs protecting those circuits. Very important. So in my main distribution feeding this spur, there's one there and there's one in a separate distribution here. And this was the third in the line. The other ones don't trip. They are fine. And I can do the test on them and they test perfectly. I did some checking online to see why this could happen. And I discovered that these things aren't all that you would expect. There are certain pieces of equipment that cause, can cause these to malfunction, either to trip unnecessarily, as in my case, or actually not to trip at all. I'm going to do some more research on this and come back with a separate video because it's quite a serious issue, one that's known within the industry because I found other YouTube uh, videos on the subject. But it's nice to know that you've got one of these installed, which is meant to save your life should you touch the mains that it was actually going to work. But you may have installed something else within the house which would stop it from working. Anyway, I will look into it and produce a separate video. As for these lights and wicks, well, I have to say, at eight pounds, they are excellent value. They're doing a great job. My garage come workshop is lovely and bright.